Dairy free, nut free, oil free, flavor free. Wait. Mm -hmm. Scratch that last one. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and today I'm going to show you two different ways to make vegan cream cheese. Our base ingredients for the two different methods will be a plant-based yogurt and milk. Now I'll be using soy for both, but feel free to use whatever non-dairy alternative that you prefer. And for even more plant-based recipes like sweet potato flatbread, katsu sandwiches, and even some breakfast muffins, check out this playlist above filled with delicious tutorials. Let's start off with the easiest method of making vegan cream cheese. All you'll need is some plain non-dairy yogurt, a cheesecloth, and a mesh strainer. If you don't have access to cheesecloth or muslin, you can use any piece of clean fabric. Pour your yogurt into your muslin line strainer, making sure that it's completely covered. Leave this to drain in the fridge anywhere between 12 to 18 hours. The longer the yogurt drains, the firmer a cream cheese it will make. After the yogurt has drained, remove it from the strainer. You can see just how much liquid has drained overnight, leaving you with a firm vegan cream cheese. Place your strained yogurt into a bowl and add salt. Stir until it's fully incorporated. Now this step is optional, but I highly recommend adding in some vinegar to give your cream cheese that signature acidity. Once mixed in, transfer to a container and you've just made a super simple, nut and oil free, vegan cream cheese. You can of course add any other flavourings that you wish, but I wanted to keep this version quick and easy to do. Next up, our milk based vegan cream cheese from scratch. There are a couple extra steps, but it's so worth it. For this, you'll need any non-dairy milk and either vinegar or lemon juice. I'm using soy because I tend to get better results with it. For the vinegar, I'm using homemade apple cider vinegar. Subscribe with the bell so that you're notified as soon as that tutorial comes out. In a pot, gently heat your milk, paying attention not to let it come to the boil. Once your milk is heated through, turn off the heat and pour in the vinegar or lemon juice. Your milk should immediately start to curdle. Gently stir just enough to ensure the vinegar is mixed in. After a few minutes, you should be able to see visible curdles, which is exactly what we're looking for. Leave your milk to cool down completely before we move on to straining. Once again, use a muslin line strainer. Pour your curds into the strainer. You might need to let it drain slightly before adding in the whole mixture. Carefully gather the sides of your muslin and squeeze to strain out the excess liquid. 
The more you strain here, the firmer your final cream cheese will be. You can of course use this method to make plain cream cheese, but I'm going for a garlic and herb flavoured vegan cream cheese. I'll be using fresh chives, salt and my homemade garlic and onion powdered spices. Click the link above to see how you can make your own powdered spices from fresh ingredients. Homemade spices are so much more flavourful than store bought, so definitely do give this a try. In a bowl, combine your vegan cream cheese with the herbs and spices. To give it that smooth and creamy texture that cream cheese is known for, you'll need to use either a blender or a whisk. Once you're happy with the final texture, transfer to a container. And you've just made a delicious herbed vegan cream cheese. Don't believe me? Then keep watching. Let me have another bite. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. This is the one made from soy milk and it's got all the herbs and seasonings in it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, already just by like um, digging in, I can tell that it's firmer. It kind of feels a lot more like cream cheese. Mmm, okay, this is delicious. I definitely think that this is how you need to eat it. Add your herbs, add your seasonings. Check out my playlist above, which shows you how to make your own powdered spices because that's what I used in here and it's absolutely delicious. It has just the right amount of acidity, no complaints, honestly. Out of the two, I mean, obviously, the yogurt based one it's literally one ingredient you leave it in the fridge overnight and you have cream cheese so simplicity alone is why i would recommend it but if you're about flavors and if you're about textures the milk cream cheese is absolutely delicious i highly recommend that you guys try this it tastes so good you would think that there was something else in there like maybe cashews or something to give it that texture and body but to think that you can make something like this just by heating up milk and adding in vinegar mind is completely blown this is absolutely delicious you guys have to try this one out and let me know how you find it so in terms of texture let's first start off with our super simple yogurt based cream cheese 
I actually think this holds up pretty well. It has a good amount of body and it definitely doesn't feel like you're just spreading yogurt on a bagel. If I'm being honest, I don't quite think it matches the texture of cream cheese. To me, it's somewhere in the middle between mayonnaise and cream cheese. It's considerably lighter, but it still does have a good amount of texture and body, but it's not quite cream cheese. However, I do think that it serves the same purpose and considering just how easy it is to make, it's definitely worth trying. But for our milk-based cream cheese, this one definitely has the edge. I think that the texture of this milk-based cream cheese is spot on. And for me, the best thing about this one is that it's completely customizable. Depending on how much you strain the curds in the first place, you can get something that's thicker than cream cheese, lighter or heavier, depending on what you want. You could actually use this exact same method to make something like a curd cheese or a soft cheese if you didn't just want to make cream cheese. So here are a couple tips if you're following along with this recipe. The first is to try and find the most natural version of yogurt and milk. A lot of plant-based milks and yogurts tend to have a variety of different flavorings and sweeteners added to them, which isn't necessarily what you want in a cream cheese. So definitely double check the label and try to use plain natural varieties. Also, I would highly recommend that you pick a yogurt that you already like the taste of before making it into a cream cheese. This seems rather obvious, but essentially we're just intensifying the flavor of the yogurt by straining out all the excess water. So I would definitely recommend using herbs and seasonings to cover the flavor of the natural yogurt if you're someone who doesn't necessarily enjoy plain yogurts. When it comes to draining, the longer you leave it to drain, the firmer the cream cheese you're going to get. For me, the sweet spot is probably between 12 to 18 hours. I like the texture of cream cheese I get, but I definitely wouldn't leave it to drain for longer than 24 hours. After that point, you're not really losing any more liquid and you're kind of just letting your cream cheese sit around in the fridge. When it comes to the milk-based cream cheese, it's a fairly simple process to follow. The only thing I would say is that you do want to be careful with the temperature when you're heating up your milk. Um, if it gets too hot or it's too cold, it's not going to curdle properly. Um, so definitely watch the pot and do not let it come to a boil. If you do find that your milk is boiling, let it cool down before adding in your vinegar. Otherwise, you're not going to get any of those curdles and you won't be able to make your cream cheese. I do hope that you found this tutorial helpful. I know that vegan cheese doesn't have the best reputation, but homemade varieties are so much better. And this recipe definitely doesn't disappoint. So do give this vegan cream cheese a try. Subscribe for even more delicious recipes along with natural hair care and skincare tutorials and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks for watching! Check out the playlist below for even more delicious recipes.